All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to your mat this morning. My name is Jennifer. We are going to move through a 45 minutes sunrise yoga flow. Um, I'm gonna have a start in uh, an easy child's pose this morning. So I'm gonna ask you to come to the back of your mat and we're gonna bring your big toes to touch. Take your knees as wide as you can and start to reach your fingertips forward. So your fingertips are gonna land at the top of your mat here. That's it, good. So just feel yourself sort of ground down in this posture. Let your, your shin bones get nice and heavy. You're gonna allow your forehead to melt down onto your mat here. Good. So spreading your fingertips nice and wide, let's loop your shoulders away from your ears and allow your forehead to get heavy here as you press into the mat. Good morning and welcome. Awesome, thank you for joining me this morning, Steph. So reaching your fingertips nice and long, we're just getting started here in a wide-legged child's pose. And let's shift our attention inwards towards our breath. So taking a nice long inhale through your nose to fill up. And a nice long exhale out of your mouth to get a little more heavy in this shake. Good, welcome, good morning. Just getting started here on this Wednesday. A long inhale through your nose. And a long exhale out of your mouth to get a little heavier on your mat. If you'd like to set an intention for your practice this morning, I invite you to do so now. Maybe a mantra, maybe a few words that you repeat to yourself. I am present, I am calm. I'm going to invite you to come back to that mantra as we move through this practice today. Long inhale and a long exhale to get empty. Think about melting your chest, your sternum, your heart a little closer to the mat. Bringing a little movement into this child's pose. Maybe you start to swift and just little shift side to side here, checking in with your hips underneath your lats this morning. And when you're ready, we're gonna pull your bum right up off your heels and land in this quadruped position here today. Awesome. Let's send your right leg out. Dorsey, flex your right foot and wrap your right knee down. I'm gonna lift the left arm out and away if it's there for you this morning. Take a long inhale through your nose. We're gonna warm up through our spine. As you exhale, can you tuck your right knee in towards your left elbow and round? So inhale to get long, breath comes in, send your tailbone long. And then exhale, let's round and tap knee to elbow. One more round, inhale, get long, reaching through center. And then as you exhale, let's bring your left hand down. Keep the right foot hovering for three. Yeah, engaging your glutes there too. And one, can you tap your right toe to the mat? Curl your toes under. You're gonna pick up your left knee and tuck your knee into your chest. Hover and hold three, two, and one. Gently land your left knee back down. We're gonna open up to modified side plank. So spinning open onto your left knee, open your right arm up and lift up. Big, beautiful side body stretch this morning. So this is a modified side plank, big inhale. Yeah, really nice at home, guys. As you exhale, bring that right hand back down, spinning back into quadruped. Let's move through one cat and cow. Exhale to round. So prepping our body for this flow this morning. Inhale, dip your belly. Lengthen your spine. So breath comes in, tuck and round. Looking between your thighs into cat. Exhale, dip your belly, arch your back and extend. Good, left leg goes out this time. Wrap your left hip down and send your right arm out. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Inhale through our nose. As we exhale, let's round your spine. Tap your right elbow to your left knee. That's it guys, inhale to reach. Get nice and long, send your left toes back. Exhale, round, engaging through your core. Let's try one more here. Inhale, get long, reaching, reach. And then as you exhale, leave the left foot floating and bring your right palm to your mat. That's it, keeping that left leg hovering for three. Yeah, a little glute activation today. It's two. 
All right, slowly tap the left toes down to your mat. Press into your palms and your left big toe as you pull your right shin up and towards your chest to hover for three. Good, turning on the core for two. Gently lay your right knee back down. We're gonna open up into the right side, spinning open into that modified side plank. Oh, big side body stretch. You might feel a little different on the left side than you do on the right. Inhale, sending breath to your left ribs. And then exhale, let's bring the left palm down, spin back into your quadruped, let's round into cat. And then dip your belly and lengthen into cow. One more time, articulating your spine bone by bone. That looks great, you guys. Inhale, exhale, dip your belly, arch your back, pull your heart through. Curl your toes, send your hips up and back. Make your way to your first downward facing dog shape of Wednesday. Big inhale through your nose. And then a big exhale. You might start to walk this dog out, pushing through all five toe mounds. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Spread your fingers really, really wide here. Roll your shoulders back and down. Let's find a little stillness in this shape in this downward facing dog. So from here, can you take your left hand and reach back for your right ankle bone or your right calf? We're gonna try and hold this posture here. Yeah, pressing into your right palm, big inhale. Big exhale, let's float the left hand back down to your mat. Right hand reaches back towards your left ankle bone. So if you can wrap the fingers around the base of your Achilles there, if you're not quite there, you can just reach for your knee. Still a little bit tight this morning. Morning practice takes a little longer to dive in. Inhale. Awesome job, everyone. Exhale, left hand comes back down. Looking towards the top of your mat, can you bend your knees a lot? We're gonna walk or hop to travel to the top of your mat. I'm gonna walk first this morning. So you're walking your toes to meet your fingertips, top of your mat. Inhale, let's find a nice flat back, halfway. Good, exhale, we melt and fold. So we're getting ready to circle to stand, everyone. Inhale, root to rise, arms reach up, lift up, fill up. And then exhale, let's bring our hands to our heart center. Yeah, good, first sun salutation of the morning, guys. Inhale, bend the knees a lot, lift up, look up, fill. Exhale, hands come through heart center, fold over your thighs. Good, inhale, halfway lift, loop your shoulder blades together on your back. Exhale to fold. Good, bend your knees, plant your palms. Step your right leg back, left leg back. Top of a push-up, high plank. We're gonna tap your knees to the mat. Slowly lower your chest and your pelvis to land at the same time. Release your back toes. Shoelaces down, glide your fingertips forward just an inch. Press into your palms and little baby cobra to lift this morning. Yeah, it's still warming up. Awesome, really nice, Brandon. Exhale, slowly lower yourself down. Slide your hands back underneath your shoulders. Curl your back toes. Press into your modified table. Straighten up your legs and then take your hips up and back. So option here, guys, you always have the option to go back to that series that we just did with all of those modifications. On our next round, we're gonna take things forward just a little bit, but this practice is for everyone. So. Checking in with your body, your mantra this morning, I am calm, I am centered. Bend your knees a lot. Look forward to the top of your mat. Walk, hop, or float. I'm gonna stay walking today. So step, step, top of your mat. Inhale, find your halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Ribs find your thighs, yes. Inhale, root to rise, circle to stand. Big inhale to fill. Exhale to fold, hands come through your heart center, all the way down, good. Inhale, halfway lift, spine is long, your back is flat, Ooh, check in with your hamstrings. Exhale to fold, bend your knees, left leg goes back this time, right leg goes back, you're in the top of a push-up, option to drop to knees, or shift forward on your toes, hug your elbows in as you slowly lower through your chaturanga, flip to the tops of your feet, and then Pull yourself up and through into your upward face. Yes, Ooh, really push the sternum forward, lift the chin, shift your gaze to the ceiling, breath in. 
As you exhale, slowly, slowly pull up and roll over your toes to come all the way back. Whew. Definitely building some heat here this morning. I'm gonna come check in with you guys here. Yeah, this looks really good. Welcome, Tanya. Hi, Barbara. Inhale. Now exhale, bend your knees a lot. Look to the top of your mat. Step, walk, or hop. I'm gonna do a little hop this time. Inhale, find your halfway. Back is flat. Exhale to fold. Head is heavy here. When you're ready, inhale, arms circle to stand. Take a big breath in, reach up, lift up, look up. Exhale, last one here, guys. Fold through heart center, come all the way down. Yeah, definitely feeling a little bit of warmth now. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. So fold over your thighs. Option here, guys, is to hop it back. So this is your third progression. To hop, move through your chaturanga. Inhale to your full upward face. And then exhale, slowly take yourself up and back. So those are our three options for that sun salutation today. I'm gonna invite you guys at home to pick any variation as we move through the rest of this flow. Option to make it your own. We're gonna add on, bend your knees a lot. Look to the top of your mat, step, hop, or float. Good, inhale halfway. Exhale to fold. From here, let's circle the stand. Take a big breath in. Inhale, arms sweep up, lift up, look up. And then exhale, let's bring your hands down through your heart. Pause and open up into your Tadasana. So your Tadasana is just mountain pose. I want you to loop your shoulders up, back and down. Spread your fingers really wide, lift your chest and curl your tailbone under so it's an active standing posture. Find the big toes, your pinky and the inner and outer sides of your heels. So it's the most active standing pose you've probably been in before. Let's add on here. Let's take a nice big breath in. Inhale to lift up, reach up, look up. Exhale, let's swan dive forward this time. Spread your hands nice and wide as you dive over your thighs. Inhale, halfway, we lift. As you exhale, let's bend and fold. Bend your knees, step your right leg back long. Okay, and then we're gonna slowly crawl yourself out into a wide-legged fold. So we just crawl, yes, excellent. So all 10 toes are pointing forward. Just allow your head to drop down, You're softening your jaw here. Okay, inhale, come for a halfway lift. Palms find the floor. This is an excellent spot for a prop, a block if you have one. Exhale, I love this first wide-legged fold. Little micro bend in our knees. Again, inhale halfway with your back is flat, lifting up, looking up. Sitting bones are high. Exhale, we melt. Nice work, everyone. Come up one more time. We're gonna continue into a skandhasana on this right side. So we're gonna turn your right toes open. Walk your hands to the right side of your mat and then flexing your left heel, we're bending deeply into this right hip. I had a little request for hip openers today. So if this is a little too deep for you, you might be here today. And this is awesome as well. You might be holding on to something at home. If we're here and skandhasana is a good spot for you, we're gonna reach for the bind. The right arm comes up and you're gonna simply dip your right armpit to wrap around your right knee. That arm scoots back so the right palm is facing upward. That's step one in your bind. Step two, if you feel confident to draw the abs in, you're gonna reach your left arm up and around and see if you can clasp your fingers together behind your back. Again, we're gonna go back to our breath. Big inhale through our nose. Oh, it feels so good this morning. Exhale, think about looping the left shoulder back for two. Inhale, exhale, it's one. Nice work, everyone. If you're in the bind, let's release the bind. Bring the fingertips back down to center. We're gonna make our way back to the top of the mat. So bending into the left side, we're gonna rotate. So you're framing your left knee here. Framing our left side, you got it. Now we're gonna spring this right foot forward to meet your left, top of mat. Yes, inhale, halfway lift, back is flat, spine is long. Exhale to fold. Inhale, circle to stand, breath comes all the way in, root to rise, we lift up. 
Exhale, let's dive forward. Sending the chest and the heart forward, come all the way down. Good, inhale, halfway. Exhale to melt, good, bend your knees. Place your fingertips on your mat. Step your left leg back this time. We touch it down and then we're crawling over into a wide legged fold here. Yes, all 10 toes point forward. Inhale, lifting halfway, spine is long. So we should feel quite a bit more sensation in our hamstrings when we lift up. Exhale, see if we can melt a little further. So remember that spinal warm up we did in the beginning, guys. We're rippling the chest forward and then exhale to melt a little further if you can. One more, inhale, roll it up, back is flat. Checking in your hamstrings there, exhale to melt. Good, so follow me everyone. We're gonna go into that skandhasana on your left side. So turn your left toes out, start to bend into your left knee and pull your right toes up as you straighten your right leg. Yeah, good job, really nice. So a block could be helpful here to maintain hold. If you're looking for something a little deeper, your body's craving a little bit more, we might start to play with that forearm drop. And if you're looking for the bind, you're gonna send the left arm up and then drop that left shoulder a lot. So it's like you're tucking your knee into your armpit. You bend the left elbow. So if you're new to binds and you're working on trying to get yourself there, this is the half bind. Yeah, so you might just stay here. If you wanna play with me and reach up, okay? Maybe, just maybe, your fingertips can clasp behind your back. Yeah, that's good. Inhale. And then exhale, think about drawing and rotating your right shoulder a little bit more for two. Shifting your gaze over your right shoulder, it's one. Really nice, everyone at home. If you're in the bind, let's unravel the bind. Hands come back to the mat in front of you. Walking ourselves back up to the top of your mat, we're gonna rotate and frame your right knee. Let's pick the left foot up and step it forward to meet your right top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Your spine is long, back is flat. Exhale to fold. Beautiful work, everyone. Root to rise, circle to stand. Take a big breath in. So we're gonna do one vinyasa here, guys, to rinse this out. Exhale, fold, all the way down. Inhale, halfway. So yogi's choice here, guys. Step, walk, or shoot it back. High plank. Find your chaturanga dandasana, low plank. Baby cobra, or full upward face. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Really nice stuff. Exhale, slowly make your way up and back. Downward face. Nice work, everyone. We're gonna add on to that little series. So bend your knees a lot. Rise to the balls of your feet. Walk, walk, or hop to arrive. Top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Bend your knees. Step your right leg back. Okay, now again, let's make our way to your wide-legged fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Just one time, exhale to fold. Moving into our skandhasana, pivot the right toes out, bending into your right knee deeply. Hold your skandhasana for one full breath. Inhale, and exhale here. Let's go ahead and move here, guys. Crawling yourself back up to the top of your mat. We frame the left foot this time. So we're gonna set up to spring forward into an airplane. So option here is to bring your right foot a little closer, and then we're gonna build this posture from the ground up. This is our balance posture today. So sending your right toe back, squeeze your shoulder blades on your back, draw your low ribs in, and find one spot to shift your drishi, your gaze. We're here for three. I'm gonna come have a look at you guys. Really, really nice. Gripping the, the mat with your left foot. Really grip the mat there. Good, nice. For two. Awesome job, guys. It's one. Now, simple, simple. We're gonna bring the knee in towards the chest and we're gonna move into standing pigeon. So we're gonna cross your right knee over top of your left, 
squeezing your inner thighs together. So I'm gonna show you from the front, guys. So it's like we are squeezing your inner thighs, sitting nice and low, hands come to heart center here. Ooh, lots of balance today with this. All right, inhale. As you exhale, maybe you sink a little deeper. Yeah, big challenge, stay in. I know this is tricky, I know this is tough. I'm gonna stay with you for two. All about our transitions today. It's one, release the hands, release the knee. Can you send your right leg back to your airplane? Ooh, reach it, reach it, reach. Nice work, everybody. I can't look at you because I'm gonna lose my balance. <laughs> and then slowly, slowly tapping your right toe back down behind you. Ooh, let's frame the left foot. Plant your palms, it's yogi's choice. Any vinyasa you like, slide your left leg up and back. I'm gonna hover my back toe and then shift forward, come down. Inhale, full upward facing dog. Yeah, great job staying with me on the add on there guys. Exhale, come up and back. So let's return in this down dog. We're here for five breaths. If downward dog is a little intense for your wrist this morning, Always an option to come down to your wide-legged child's. Nice work. I'm gonna switch sides so I don't lose you. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to bring your attention also back to your, your mantra that you said this morning. Those one or two words. If you feel your mind wandering, this is always the point in my practice where I start to think about what I have to do later. I'm gonna invite you back to stay with me here, okay? So inhale, and then a big sigh out. Stick your tongue out, <sighs> it's like we call that lion's roar. So inhale to get full. You're in your living room, your kitchen, nobody knows you. So exhale, sigh it out, <sighs> stick your tongue out. You know, there's something really satisfying about that releasing of breath. One more, inhale, <sighs> big exhale, good. Looking to the top of your mat, lift your gaze, bend your knees a lot. Let's rise to the tops of our feet, step, walk, or hop, travel to the top. Good, inhale, halfway lift, your spine is long. We have that all on the left side. Let's fold and melt, bend your knees, fingertips find your mat, step your left leg back this time. Are you ready to walk with me? We're gonna crawl over to your wide-legged fold, 10 toes, point forward. We have one inhale, flat back, Getting a little more open there. Exhale to fold. All right, guys, you're on this train with me. Pivot the left foot out, skandasana on your left. Just one breath, bending left knee deeply. Right toes come up, inhale. Moving on, exhale, walk your hands back, stay in. We're coming to the top of your mat. Let's frame your right foot. So this is the big prep here to come into this airplane. So your option is to spring off from where you are. If you're just learning airplane, bring your left foot a little closer to your right heel and then start to build this posture from the mat up. So sweeping your arms back and then taking those arms wide into a T if you like. Try to wrap your left hip down. I'm gonna come take a peek at you guys. That's it, Steph. Keep drawing your navel to your spine and pull your ribs in. Rip the mat with your right foot for three. Keeping your gaze on one spot on the mat. Go two feet above your big toe for two. Here's the transition, you guys. Draw your belly in first. Slowly start to draw the left knee in towards your chest. We're gonna make our way into pigeon. Oh, um, eagle legs, I said pigeon. Eagle legs. Dropping into your eagle. Oh, it's still early. Cross left knee over top of right. Okay, squeezing your inner thighs together. Inhale, arms reach up. And then exhale, hands find your sternum. Thumbs at your heart center. We hold for three. Yes, good. Settling in here. Squeezing your inner thighs together for two. Gripping the mat with your right foot, maybe sinking a little deeper for one. Transitions are here, guys. Release the hands, slowly start to straighten your right leg. Send your left leg back, find your airplane one more time. Wrapping the left hip down, hold. Slowly, slowly tap your left foot down, frame your right foot, fingertips find your mat. Let's work your vinyasa. Step right leg back, high plank. 
shifting forward onto your toes, Chaturanga Dandasana, low plank. Modified version is just a baby cobra here, or full upward face. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Oh, you guys followed along nicely on that series. I love it. Well done. Take a nice big breath in through our nose. Are you ready to add on? We've got one more round there, guys. Checking in. I'm gonna spin myself around so I can see you. We're gonna do that series one more time with one final add-on at the end. I know you can do it. Stay in, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat. Step, walk, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift, slide is long. Exhale to fold, yes, good. Moving with intention. Fingertips find your mat, step your right leg back. Good, we're gonna crawl to the center of your mat. Wide-legged fold. Inhale, back is flat, lifting. And then exhale to fold, making your way to Skandasana on your right side. So right toe goes out, pivoting on that right foot. The left toes come up. Yes, big inhale. Exhale, let's crawl our way to the top of your mat, framing your left foot. Getting ready to spring up into your airplane. So from the bottom of the mat up, we send the right leg up. And then start to build that posture, just one breath. Inhale, exhale, drive your knee up. Sweep the arms up, find your eagle legs. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Hands come to heart center. You got this, guys. Stay with me. I know this is tricky. We're on the home stretch. Inhale, send your arms up. As you exhale, picking that right knee up, sweep it all the way back. Send your right leg long. Sweep your arms past your thighs. Stay in. One breath. Inhale. You know where I'm going with this. Slowly tap your right foot down to the mat. Now from here, come on down. Release your right knee. Release your back toes. This is the add-on here. Sweep your arms up. Low lunge. Excellent job. Let's add a little twist. Reach up and open to your left side. Left fingertips go back. Right fingertips go forward. Sweep your left arm all the way up. Moving into a little back bend here. If it's there, we're pretty warm right now. So lifting your chest, lifting your heart, your gaze goes to the ceiling. Release the hands. We're keeping going on this side. We're gonna keep going, guys. Frame your left knee, curl your back toes. Zip up your back leg. Got it? So you're in this lunge posture. Let's drive the arms up and see if we can find that crescent lunge. Yes, draw the ribs down, tuck your tail, engage your core. Little hip flexor opener. Be careful with this stuff if it's a little too intense. Let's open up into your warrior two. Yes, good. Let's flip your front palm, reach it and exalt it. Take it up. Okay, and then come back to center. You got it, guys. So last posture before we go through our vinyasa. We're gonna move to extended side angle. So extended side angle, you can take the left forearm on top of the left knee and reach your right arm up. Now, if you're working with binds, and that's something that's starting to come into your practice a little bit, this is an opportunity for a bind. I'm gonna show you from the left side, so from the back. So if you're working with a bind, you're gonna drop that left shoulder once again. You're gonna try to reach this left hand down, right? And then we bend at the elbow and see how this hand is available. So if you're able to start to explore and maybe play with finding the interlacing of your fingers, and pulling your right shoulder blade back. Oh, we can feel that left thigh, right? I'm gonna come see you guys. What are we doing? That's it, Karen, good. Pull the right shoulder back even more if you can. Squeeze, there you go, nice adjustment. That's it, Steph. Brandon, you're there. Good. Take one more full breath here. Whew, this is a long series. All right, when you're ready, let's release that bind. Come back into your warrior two. Yes, let's cartwheel the hands. First time for this today, up and around, spinning on your right foot. We're gonna step your left leg back, Chaturanga Dandasana. So it's your yogi's choice, guys, for your flow. Coming into the tops of your feet, baby cobra or full upward face. Exhale, downward facing dog, pedaling out the feet. We're here for three full breaths, you guys. So take full three rounds. All right, if that's a little much for you, we can take the knees wide, big toes to touch in child. 
Okay, guys, I just need you to stay with me for this left side, okay? Bend your knees a lot. Look to the top of the mat. You're doing an amazing job. Step, walk, or hop. Land. Good. Inhale. Halfway lift. Our spine is long. Ooh, back is flat. My heart rate's getting up a little bit this morning. Bend your knees. So step your left leg back. Okay? We're going to travel into that wide-legged fold. Crawl, crawl to the center of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift for one. Exhale to fold. Nice work. You guys look so good this morning. Moving into Skandasana on your left side. Pivot the left toe out. Bending into the left knee. Any option you like here, guys. Just one breath. Inhale. Uh-huh. Exhale. Let's slowly make our way to the top of our mat. Frame your right foot. Getting ready to kick off into our airplane. So from any position you like, I'm gonna show you the modification. Bring your left foot in and then start to build this posture from the ground up. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades on your back. Getting ready to move here. Draw the left knee in, sweep your arms up overhead, lift your left leg and cross it over top of your right into this little squeeze here. So standing, uh, standing eagle legs here. Take a breath in. I don't know why I want to say pigeon this morning. I think it's on my mind. Good. Next breath. Release and uncross the left knee. Sweep your arms back as you send your left leg back. Hold. Big inhale. As you exhale, let's tap the left toes down to the mat. So this is the add-on. Just scoot your right foot forward just to touch you guys, just to adjust this front foot. And then drop your back knee, release your back toes, sweep your arms up, low lunge. Yeah, really nice. Let's add a little twist here, guys. Inhale, exhale, reach and rotate. Your right fingertips go to the back of your mat, left fingertips go forward. Inhale, sweep your right arm up, moving into a little baby back bend here. Breath is in. Feels so good. Exhale, come forward, frame your front knee, curl your back toes, zip up your left leg. So really wrap your muscle to bone here. Moving into your crescent lunge, building from the mat up. Take a breath in, inhale. Try to draw your shoulders away from your ears. As you exhale, let's open this up, warrior two. Yeah, you guys are right with me. This is amazing. Flip your front palm. Let's exalt this warrior. Building strength through these standing postures this morning. Feels so nice on that right side body. All right, coming into warrior two, we're going to move into your option of extended side angle. So your right forearm might find the inside of your right knee and you sweep this left arm up and open. Option to drop this right shoulder and find your bind. So if you have the bind, you're gonna drop the shoulder, sweep the hand underneath, left arm comes up and around. Let me see what we got on this side. I'm gonna come find you guys. Yeah, so good. That's a nice option, Barbara, good. Love it. Brandon, you're there. Keep wrapping that left shoulder back if you can. Inhale, pull it back. Yes, nice adjustment. Oh, this side. <laughs> Nice work, guys. And on one, come all the way back up to your warrior two. Good. Now we're going to frame this foot. So let's cartwheel all the way up and around. Plant your palms. Step your front foot forward. Meet your back foot. Back of mat. Shift forward to your big toe mounds or drop your knees wherever you are in your practice. Big upward face or baby cobra. Yeah, you guys made it on that whole series. Take your knees nice and wide and let's meet back in that wide-legged child. Ooh, okay guys, so a few options here in this restorative posture. Um, if your forehead can find the mat, let's try that. And then if you feel like you need a little bit more um, opening through your chest and shoulders, slide your hands back. I'm gonna invite you to find the bind behind your lower back. So if it's accessible for you to squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back, if you have the bind, can you press your knuckles towards your heels, towards the back of your mat? So we should feel a little sensation across the front of your chest, front of your shoulders, your sternum. Now from here, if it's there for you, I'm gonna ask you to play with the idea of starting to slowly float the bind away from your tailbone. And squeezing your shoulder blades together.
So if there's pain, we're going to stop. I don't want there to be pain, but maybe just a little uncomfortable here in terms of really opening up any tension through your shoulders, through your chest. And on your next breath, let's just slowly release that bind, just gently. And bring your hands back to frame your knees. And we're going to slowly take yourself up so that you're in your hero pose. Just on your shins, on your knees, little shoulder roll, up, back, and down. Awesome. All right, so I had a little request earlier for some glutes, a lot of tight glutes in the room today. So let's crawl your hands forward. I'm going to show you a few different things today. So curl your toes under and let's send your hips up and back. Just find an easy down dog. This one shouldn't be stressful, shouldn't be hard. Okay, let your head be really heavy here. And I'm enjoying this inversion. Inhale. And exhale. Nice work, everyone. Let's slowly come down to your knees. And then from there, we're just gonna actually make our way onto our bum. So you're gonna just shift your weight and sweep your legs in front of you. We did pigeon last week. So this week, I'm just gonna change it up a little bit for us. So we're gonna try um, your thread the needle in a seated posture today. So I'm gonna invite you to bring your right foot and cross it over top of your left knee. Okay, so this might be a pretty intense stretch for you. And um, if this is too much seated, the option to do this on your back is also there. So if this is a more comfortable um, posture for you on your back, I invite you to do that now. We can get a little bit more out of our body leverage if we stay seated up tall. So you're gonna reach your arms up and around and we're gonna point our fingertips back towards the back of your mat. Can you take a nice big breath in and sit up nice and tall? You might already feel a pretty deep sensation. I'm gonna ask you to dorsiflex this right foot just to protect your right knee here. So watch the change in the movement. So inhale to round and I drop back. So the, the sort of the, the, um, the stretch comes off my glute. And then as I shine my chest forward, as I push my sternum forward and sit tall and press my ankle bone into my knee. This is like an active way to stretch our glutes. So inhale to tuck and round. And then exhale to pull your shoulder blades away from your ears and externally rotate that knee, look up. One more time, inhale, hollow out your breastbone, round your spine. And then exhale, push your chest forward. Open up that right knee. Okay guys, follow me. Just watch for one quick moment because this is a weird cue. I'm gonna come right onto my back, but I'm keeping this cross. I'm gonna take my hands to a T and then we're gonna draw the left knee to the right corner of their mat by pulling on the outer edge of your left knee with your right ankle bone. Oh yeah. So you might feel some sensation, short, sort of shift to your um, thoracic spine, your lumbar spine here. Let your heart rate start to come down after that, that really great rigorous vinyasa this morning. Inhale. And on your next breath, we slowly make our way back to the midline of your mat. Let's uncross that foot and then hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze here. Yeah, knees come towards your nose, maybe rock side to side. And then looking between your thighs at the bottom of your mat, we're gonna rock and gently roll up. Yeah, let's set up the left side. So picking up your left ankle bone, we're gonna cross it over your right knee. So remember guys, the option, if it's too intense seated, is to come right onto your back, okay? If you're with me here, flex the left foot Inhale to round your spine. It's almost like you're doing a seated cat here. And then we exhale. Feel the difference as you press your sternum forward and push into your sits bones. Yeah, good. Inhale. Ooh. You guys are all progressing so nicely through this class. So we're going to have to keep thinking of ways to challenge you. One more time. Round your spine. 
And then exhale, press into your palms, push your sternum forward, lift your heart, lift your chest, look up. And then let's slowly, again, it's a bit of a weird transition, but you just actually make your way onto your back, bone by bone, one vertebra at a time, keeping this cross. Take your arms out to your T, slowly pull the right knee to the left outer corner of your mat with your left ankle bone. And looking over your right shoulder, inhale. And exhale. It's a really nice way, Karen. I know you mentioned your lower back a little bit earlier. So it's a really nice combination of glutes and, and hip openers right into your twist. With all that extra outdoor activity we've been doing, um, my body always feels a little tighter in the morning. We should start our day like this every day. And then um, when you're ready, slowly make your way back onto your back. Okay, we're just gonna finish with a little easy inversion. So let's bring your knees to your chest one more time. Give yourself a little squeeze here, knees to nose, tuck everything in. Awesome. Slowly lay your upper body back down on your mat. And then we're gonna extend into waterfall. So take your legs up towards the sky. Maybe you bring your arms into this waterfall too. I like to sort of let my ankles roll here. And you focus on the rhythm of your breath here, inhale. And exhale. If you have a shoulder stand in your practice or any other inversion, so shoulder stand might take you up. Maybe you reach your toes over top of your head. That's a little intense for me this morning with my back, but if you enjoy this inversion, I invite you to play here. We have another 20 seconds or so in this last posture. So you can make this your own. I like to circle my ankles and my wrists here in waterfall. Mm. And let's just gently allow your heels to come towards your bum. So you're going to bend your knees and then can you let your knees start to open? We're gonna slowly start to take the outer corners of your feet onto your mat into Supta Pada Kanasana. So option to close your practice in this posture this morning, if this is uncomfortable in your hips and you feel a little bit more safe, extending your legs out, we're gonna settle in for one moment of your spinal Shavasana. I invite you to close your eyes. And we come back one more time to that mantra. I am clear. I am present. Feel the rise and fall of your breath. Inhale. Feel your body get heavy. Notice the shifts in energy. You soften your jaw, soften the muscles of your face, your third eye. On your next breath, I invite you to bring some movement back to your fingertips and your toes. Some energy for your Wednesday. Let's reach your fingertips all the way up over your head. Zip up your toes. Big, full body stretch. Inhale. And as you exhale, I invite you to bring your palms to touch. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. And take your thumbs 
between your eyes. Thank you for joining me on your mat this morning. The light in me bows to the light in you. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Take your time, no rush to get up. Nowhere to be.